Ever felt like you don't have the time to watch a movie? Yes. You are right. Or maybe you're just not as excited as everybody else. That's so true. Let me tell you why that might be. Schools and colleges teaches us a lot of things, filling our minds like a bag for a big trip. But no one really teaches us how to unlearn things or the importance of it. If after what we've learned, our mind is restless and always busy and won't let us relax or even enjoy a simple movie, it's time to unlearn a few things and relearn it the right way. It's simply pretending to learn a subject from scratch, even though if you may know it or not, but you pretend to learn it from the beginning. This adds value to a healthy life. You may already think that you know how to watch a movie, but there are a few things that you can do to enhance your movie watching experience. There's going to be only four things. Tell me how! In this fast moving world, many of us haven't really learned how to watch a movie. Movies can help us dive deep into our emotions, fear, joy, awe, sadness, allowing us to understand feelings without having to face the real life disasters. This can indeed help us to develop emotional intelligence, motivate us to overcome our fears, or give us new perspective in life. Of course, not every movie will do that. That is why it's important to learn how to pick a good movie. Whether you're watching it alone or with people, let's explore four simple things that can improve your movie watching experience. The first step being finding your taste. It's really simple. Head over to imdb.com and type in the genre or topics that you might want to watch. You'll find tons of options, but let's narrow it down to the good ones. Use the advanced search options to fill in your preferences and you'll find numerous titles that might be the exact thing that you're looking for. Step 2. Know your audience. Now let's consider who you're watching the movie with. Watching alone, you can watch anything. But when you're watching it with friends or maybe family, we have to think about their ages. If you have kids or maybe grandparents in the room, you might want to skip those love scenes or intense romances because you don't want to show the grandparents what the couples are doing these days. No, absolutely not. This is why learning about movie ratings is crucial. Every country rates their movie differently. In the US, the movie rating starts with a general level of audience, which is often marked with the letter G, suitable for all ages, no violence, or any kind of strong languages. The same is rated with the letter U in India, which means universal audience. It's pretty much the same thing. Now, the second level of rating is called PG or UA. PG stands for Parental Guidance, UA stands for Universal Adults. This is good for kids, may have some mild language and some scary scenes, but this is generally a good fit for a family night. Leveling up, the next rating is PG-13 or 12+. plus. This is for children above the age of 12. It might include some moderate violence, some romance scenes and some mature content, but this is generally okay to watch with older kids in the room. Now moving on to the next level which is R-rated or called as A-rated which is restricted to adults only. This may contain strong language, explicit scenes and deep romance. This is something you want to inspect before you want to play in your living room because this is something only adults should be watching. The next level of rating is called NC-17 or S which means special. This is not suitable for anybody below the age of 18. This is strictly mature content. This may be special content for doctors and scientists because of the extremity of the content. There, we've learned two things, two more to go. The next one is genre and pacing. We all think that we know what we like, but sometimes when we see a movie, it doesn't really meet our expectations. Halfway around the movie, we're feeling like we're losing pace and this is not as expected. That could be due to pacing. Pacing is a very important factor in storytelling. Genre and pacing is a big chapter in its own. Maybe I can do another video about it, but today I'll give you some quick tips to get through this. Let me break this down into three steps. First one, if you think you're the kind of person who would get bored easily, you want to pick a fast-paced movie, and they're generally the action, adventure, or comedy. Now, the second set is, if you're someone who likes deeper movies, but still entertaining and a little bit fast, you want to try a moderate-paced movie. And those are specifically sometimes the drama, the rom-com, or the mystery genre. And now for the last set, it's specifically for everybody who wants a relaxing experience. Go for the slower-paced movies like independent films, or maybe documentaries, or historical films. There you have it. Now we've learned three things. Last but not the least, the step four is sound and subtitles. 
an epic sound is a must. Part of the reason you may not be as enthusiastic about the movie magic experience is because you either were on headphones or maybe watching Netflix or any kind of OTT on your laptop or your phone devices. This robs you from the first thing about the experience and that is watching it with people, with friends and hearing different sound frequencies to enjoy the epic drama on the screen. A laptop or a phone produces a portion of the frequency and human ears need a wide range to get that magical kick. Invest in a good sound system and you'll never regret it. And speaking of subtitles, keep the subtitles on because you don't want to pause for yourself or people around you for every word or everything that you think you've missed on the screen. Keep them on to avoid any kind of interruptions. There you have it, four simple steps to help you get a great movie night. So go ahead, grab some popcorn and happy watching. I'll make another video, I'll see you next time. But until then, please have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening and a good night.